Yo, what's going on, 67 Letter Squad? I'm back with Kalina on the PTS, and we are going to test is she viable in the solo lane? And let me ask you a question Was Thanatos viable in, in the solo lane when he came out? People didn't think so, but guess where he is now? He's played a lot in the solo lane. It's weird, I know, but it happens. Same thing goes exactly for, um, uh, who is it? Thor. People play Thor in the solo lane now. It's all sorts of weird. I don't know how to explain it. It's just wild and it's happening. All these ability-based physical assassins are being played in the solo lane and they're actually viable. This shit is going on at the highest level of gameplay in the SPL. So my question, and I'm, you know, it answered for you guys too, not only for myself, is this character another ability-based assassin going to be able to, to keep up with solo laners and and you know fit that meta of thor and thanatos that's been set previously and continue it and that's why we're here we're gonna see is she viable in solo i honestly believe she will be and here's why her clear is pretty ass and you know that nobody's gonna dispute that but the fact that she has a silence and a targeted um targeted invisibility is crazy good in terms of lane phase for if you get ganked so i think that she'll actually be able to survive better than you might think i am fighting an achilles um so his damage output is going to be something <gasps> i'm fighting another Kuda. <laughs> what the heck dude top 10 anime battles holy crap I had no idea I would fight another cleaner. This is perfect. This is perfect. We get to see is she actually viable? Oh no. Oh no, he got clapped in mid. He got he got clapped in mid. That's okay. Because you don't find out if someone's viable by your team winning. You find out if they're viable by you know everything else winning. Or sorry, by everything else losing and then you winning. And being able to carry. That's how you see the real viability of these characters. Dead to mannequins? <laughs> Not dead to mannequins. No, so close. I have no idea where she is. Found her. Ah, all the damage. Darn. Oh, what's your build? Boom, warding sigil into frostbound. All right. All right, wait. I'm cleaner. I can go to the wall and gank. Look at that, dude. I I I ganked my own cleaner because I I. It's so crazy because you'd imagine. You'd imagine there's no way you forget about the fact that she can walk into walls, right? Like that's a pretty big deal. But here you are forgetting about the fact that she can walk into walls. Watch this. Died the tower. I dashed in, got the kill, and died the tower. It said I killed myself. Enemy missing left. Which is weird. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it shouldn't say that, but whatever. Let's get this. Oh no. Live, Ravana. Be alive, my friend. Gonna dash out of here. Dude, she is so good. This character is so bonkers. Um, I'm going to walk through the wall here. Just so I can dash into the tower line. For my minions. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Um, Right now is a good time. To know that I can ult. And ult again. Where are you going? Enemy missing left. Retreat middle lane. Retreat middle lane. Oh, 
I can't kill her. I can't kill her. Unfortunate. I ran out of mana. Ooh, that was a cool voice line. The walls of eyes. How much is void shield? Thousand gold. That's a lot of gold. It's crazy because like, oh, like <laughs> I did not know he was there. Oh, excuse me, if you will. The only way he kills me here is if he has blink or alt. Awesome stuff, dude. Tokens and trinkets. Like that just shows oh, you when you get ganked and you're power. this character. You're that that's coward. this is what I was talking about why I think she's actually viable in solo lane. Because she's pretty much ungankable. Like I got I got blinked on by the Achilles. And immediately all I did was walk into a wall and then dash out of it. What could he do? Honestly. What could he do? The only thing he can do is walk away in sadness because there's no way he gets a kill. He even altered towards me to try to make something happen, but it just wasn't going to happen. So what I'm going to do here is um, in case that happens again, I'm going to set up a, a couple of alts on the wall here. So um, they'll slow them down. They'll slow his chase down. Definitely don't want to fight these. I would imagine. Her dash is really far range. So it's, it's pretty difficult to gank her. I genuinely believe she is very good in solo lane. Like I just feel like it's it's just working out. She went Blackthorn first item. That's weird. Oh, Warding Sigil got some power on it. That's interesting. 15 power and 10 prots. That's way better than mannequins. All right. It's crazy because we, we both have the same idea to alt the wave for wave clear. My alt is going to pop on him. Don't get too close, buddy. Oh, you got him? You got a root? Oh, bummer. Oh, jeez. I'm sitting in the stealth. I'm sitting in the stealth. Awesome. It, it worked. It worked. We lived. I have void shield now, so we're tanky. That was close, dude. That was close. I'm top everything. Top kills, top gold, top damage, top mitigated. Holy crap. And that's after getting in so many fights. I think my ult just proc because minions got a little too far. Yeah, I think they did. Or they just wore out. I do think they have a timer on them. A very long timer, but I think there is a timer. Okay. Oh, we made her use an ult charge on the wave because she missed her abilities on me. It's very good. Uh-oh. The reason I use my alt there is because, like I said, it's a massive slow. So it helps me with a living. Achilles is desperately trying to gank, and I still have not died yet. So you can tell, like, she's very survivable. She's very, very survivable. Um, I mean, this is a very weird match, right? Ah, I can't hit her. Can't hit her, can't hit her. Dude, we're just trying to... 
I was gonna say kill each other, but we're literal banshees. So maybe not the best wording I've ever said. Oh, she lived through that. Oh, she had one HP, man. She actually had one HP. That that Blackthorn absolutely carried. That 400 HP on that Blackthorn hammer. Well played. That is a dead Oleron. There's no chance that Oleron survives here. Very nice. Good kill, man. Good kill. So what's going on? Raw's one and three. Artemis is one and three. Me and the Ravana are both two and two. Doing all right. We're doing all right. I do want to walk through this wall and get my dash going because... I will take a little bit of damage. It's not a crazy amount. I think I I should still go Transcendence, honestly. Her damage is really good, but like an extra Transcendence is nuts. Oh, he was trying to walk into the wall, but he couldn't because <laughs> because his wall was on cooldown, probably. The reason I walked into the wall there was just because you have slightly more um, vision while you're in the wall than when you're out of the wall. So I walked in the wall just for a second to look around to make sure I wasn't getting ganked. Or should I say counter ganked because we just ganked them. Just a little tip -a I'm gonna use my alt here so that it procs on the minions when they uh, when they get up because it should hit about right here, which I think is where the minions should meet. Ah, uh, well, looks like my minions were slightly pushed up, so they didn't meet actually where they were. But all that means is that I have an alt in the wall for next time. No big deal. Let's go back and get uh, Jotuns because you desperately need cooldown on this character. You really, really badly need cooldown. Um, I do not see if the clean is there, but oh, she is there. She just got a kill. I can go into this wall here and get a, uh, a good gank off here, though. Nice. Very nice. I wasn't able to get much done there, but we did get the one kill. So, you know, one kill, not huge. But when so many people die, you take what you can get. And right there, I take one kill. Going into the wall, dashing on me. Oh, that's a lot of damage I just did to her. Um, are we fighting this? I don't think we should. But I also don't want you to die, Ravana. So maybe be a little careful. I'm a little scared. This is Lena. What's your build? Going void now? Oh, a huge slow on her. And that is a solo kill, baby. A strong move, my friend. Just dash out of here. Just make sure I don't get ganked again, you know? Very, very easy. Very, very easy. Like, the thing is, it seems so weird to say this because it's going to sound dumb. But when you have no walls, it feels like it feels like your movement is just so uninhibited. 
Like, obviously it is, right? But you'd think with a 16 second cooldown on walking through one wall, it's like not that big of a deal, but it, 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 it really is a big deal. Like it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Left lane's getting dookied on. Um, there is a Charybdis coming that direction. I think I'm going to fight this all around. I would like to at least. You got him, you got him, you got him. Take middle lane. Attack. This is not feeling the best. Oh, very nice. I was able to get into the wall. Your middle tower is under attack. I was able to get into a wall and live. Unfortunately, nobody else lived. So my, my whole team is getting completely dumpstered right now, which Your does suck. It does suck. But look at the bright side. I'm not. That's got to mean something for the character, right? I don't claim to be better than any of the people I'm playing with right now. So there's definitely got to be another reason. And that reason is my character, bro. I'm nuts. Not me. Not not Sam dude nuts. But like, Kleenan is nuts is what I meant. Such a good character, man. That Charybdis and that Achilles are literally running the game. There's 7172. I gotta kill that Charybdis. I gotta get my ganks going over there. Maybe I want a little bit more damage before I start ganking. I don't know where this other Kina is right now. I don't she's not in a wall. Oh god, why did you do that? Not the play. Killed the Charybdis, my man. Let's go. Actually huge. Actually gigantic. We might need to defend fire. No? We're good? Wow, I'm actually surprised I didn't go for fire there. Okay. Your right tower is under attack. This Ares is chasing me. He doesn't like me. He looked me dead in the eyes and said, You a bitch. Um, what do I want? Honestly, I want some more damage so that I can kill uh the Charybdis. I'm thinking I go crusher here wait in base for a bit but I think it is the best play we got tier ones everywhere retreat, retreat. you definitely don't fight in mid without me oh no they fought in mid this without me soul. 
Uh, please retreat. Retreat. Oh gosh. Not a good fight, boys. Not a good fight, boys. That is a good usage of my passive. There you go. You saw the Ares. I had the alt on me. The Ares definitely ulted me, but it didn't matter. Oh, God. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. But the air result didn't affect me because when you go in the wall, air result actually cancels off you. Like I said, you are completely untargetable when you go in that wall. Nothing can hit you, including an air result, even if it hits you already. It's ridiculous. It's actually so dumb. <laughs> like It definitely shouldn't work like that. I think you should be allowed to be pulled out of walls. But also, if you get pulled out of walls, like, imagine how many interactions they have to do. Or, like, how many edge cases and stuff they have to do for that. Oh, jeez. They got completely crapped on. That Achilles is full damage. That Oleron's full damage. The Charybdis is full damage. I think she's a very good solo laner, man. They're camping my jungle. I mean, not really. They were doing fire and you walked in. <laughs> Yeah, you should expect to die if there's all five alive and you're alone and you're walking towards fire. Or if you're not expecting to die, at least expect to get an attempt on the fire and then die. But, um, nah, she seems really good in solo. She actually does. Her survivability is insane. The ability to get into a team fight and just like, you know, hang out. Like CC people by cutting people off by using the alt there like I did. It's so good. There's so much utility behind this character that you can use. Um, let's see. Tier twos are up. They have fire. So we should not fight. Well, it was still a fun game, and I still do think that genuinely this character is very good in the solo lane. I don't think, um, I don't think this was any kind of like solo diff. Like, let's say I was Hercules or Achilles or King Arthur. I don't think it would have changed the outcome of this game. So that being said, I think, I mean, dude, she's very good. I'm top everything except for mitigated because Ganesh, obviously. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.